Hey guys, and welcome to Petrolped, and welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every evening at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. Well, it's time for another Peddler's Rides, and I'm gonna call this one Driver's Cars, Supercars, and Sunshine Cars. But before we get stuck into the video, I want to show you something very cool. I have some new merch. Yes, adding to my line of t-shirts and hoodies and stickers, we have these really cool drinks bottles. Now these either keep cold drinks cold or hot drinks hot. Um, and they come in 13 different colors um, with the Petroped logo etched on one side. And then on the other side, you can personalize it with your name or your car's name or whatever you want. And I just think they are lovely. Um, so the link uh, to the website is below. It's basically controlandshift.com. And then you can see my pages on there. They're £25 and that includes uh, shipping in the UK. Uh, outside of the UK, shipping's included in any order over £60. So maybe you could chuck in a, a nice uh, petrol ped hoodie at the same time. But yeah, I thought you'd like to see that. Anyway, let's get stuck into this video. Roll the titles. Now, first off, it's time for some Peddler's Pups. Um, so first off, sent in by Russell Fish, we have Pebbles. Pebbles, I like your style in cars, mate. Little clubby, take you for walkies, excellent. And then next up, sent in by Lorraine Bates, we have Ziggy and Zag, a couple of Peddler's Purrs. Now, I, I'm not a cat person, but I am kind of slowly being brought round. I've had some beautiful pictures of cats sent in whilst we've been doing Peddler's Pups and Peddler's Purrs. So yeah, make sure you send me a picture of your pup, Purra, or any other animal for that matter. I'll put my email in the description below. So, first up tonight, uh, under the driver's cars, we're gonna head off to a very long-term subscriber to the channel, Dickie McVitie. Now, I actually met Dickie at Festival of Speed last year. It was great to finally put a face to a name because he pretty much comments on every video. But he has two lovely cars, and maybe two of my favorite cars I've reviewed on the channel, actually. So over to you, my friend. Right, good evening, peddlers. Uh, this is Dickie McVitie. My real name's Richard, but Dickie sort of seemed funny because I like biscuits. But there we go. These are my cars. As you can see, this one is a 20, 2020 Hyundai oh. i30N Fastback. This is the first car that I've ever bought that has been completely brand new, fresh out of the showroom. Normally I've always ever had um, ex-demos or ex-managers cars but this one is brand spanking new had 12 miles on the clock when i got it um, having been with skoda vrs's for many years this was a bit of a leap of faith for me to go for this car but since i've had it i certainly haven't regretted it uh, with it being the fastback 275 brake horsepower with a uh, six speed manual gearbox two litre turbo absolutely cracking drive in the gloss black, which is gonna be fun for me to keep clean, I know, but there we are. It's gonna be a work in progress for me, this car, with the interior. Completely standard, um, just being detailed. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to say what products I've used in case it classes advertising, but uh, ceramic coatings on the uh, suede on the seats here, and uh, for the carpets, dashboard and leather given a good wipe down and clean with uh, relevant cleaners. Very comfortable and uh, fun car to drive this. Um, no modifications as such, and I don't plan to do any to the engine. Um, all I have done is added these uh, rally flaps to the side, because as some of you may know, Hyundai paint is notoriously soft. And I don't want to uh, get too many stone chips. Moving around to the back of the car, very sleek coupe-esque shape to it the back end looking like a mercedes all i've done on the back here as some of you may can see now obviously debadged it removed from here fast back and i30 from there giving it i think a lot clearer appearance and as uh, patrick had said less cluttered less busy i totally agree 
uh, twin exhausts, both real and they both work, so I'm sure that'll keep uh, petrol head happy. Um, sounds awesome in custom mode, puts everything into Sport Plus. I've got that set up with the exception of suspension, which I'm keeping in uh, comfort. The pops and crackles that it's developing now as it's getting bedded in, absolutely brilliant, loving it. Moving to the driver's seat. As you can see, the seat automatically folds back, making it easy for you to get in. And once you start the car up, the seat moves forward to your uh, required driving position uh, with memory seats. Lovely, lovely, comfortable driving position. The car just has 1,264 miles on it. So I've not had it long, I've only had about six weeks. Then in addition to the inside is a temporary dash cam. And I intend to get a hardwired front and rear facing unit in once we get out of lockdown. And being a key worker, thankfully, I'm able to drive all these cars that I'll show you this evening. But yeah, absolutely loving this car and uh, looking forward to many, many miles with it. And obviously have the comfort of the five year warranty that Hyundai are chucking out these days. Moving on to this, the Abarth 124 convertible. The wife's car um, had this car just under a year now it's got just over 7,000 miles on it um, for those who don't know this vehicle it's got the automatic gearbox to the 1.4 multi-air turbocharged engine generating 180 brake horsepower absolutely cracking car to drive this absolutely love it uh, this car was an ex um, demonstrator for the local Bath dealership just down the road in Aylesford I'm not sure if I'm allowed to mention their name, but I'm sure you can Google it and find out. Uh, on a 19 plate, just had its first service. Um, it was a year old, uh, a couple of weeks back. Happy with the service, and fortunately being a member of an Abarth club, got a bit of discount on that, so hey, it's all good. Moving to the front, full leather seats, heated. Lovely, lovely driving position. Um, like Petroped, I'm quite tall, I'm six foot one. It is a wee bit snug in there, but hey, you drive this car for the hell of it. It's brilliant, absolutely loving it. Um, with my wife being five foot two, she fits in quite snugly, and she absolutely loves it. We won a convertible car for about 30 years now, and finally last year we, uh, we got one for her. Absolutely love this car. Yeah. Fun soft top motoring, absolutely blast to drive, a real proper driver's car. And in her, the uh, the heritage pack, as you can see, the black and the, uh, the red. And quite easy to clean this black. Just some spray on wax, keeps it all nice and neat and tidy. Just finally to mention with these two cars, um, I know some of you have subscribed to Ped's channel for many years now, seen various cars, you may recognize these, these two some record from uh, some of the car reviews he's done in the past and I'm chuffed to say that actually thanks to Ped's videos they played a massive part in uh, me and my wife in our decision making process to uh, buy these two cars so Ped cheers mate appreciate that uh, thanks for helping me and my wife get yeah two really really good cars and we're very uh, grateful to you for that mate cheers thanks very much very kind words indeed at the end of that. Thank you, mate. Any any help I can be to people's decision process to buy a car, that's kind of why I do YouTube. And it's, it's very humbling, really, because cars are very expensive things. So the fact that people trust my opinion really does mean a great deal to me. And, and I know about your two cars, because clearly you've kind of messaged me when you were going to get them and sent me pictures and stuff. And that's the first time I've had a proper look around them. And they are beautiful. I love the Abarth 124 spider especially with the kind of heritage uh, bonnet and boot uh, and your i30n is fantastic and you're a really good detailer so they are hugely hugely clean as well <laughs> i just wish my cars look that nice um but yes thank you very much now next off um this is now under the supercars part uh we're off to a guy called alex who has done a video on one of my favorite cars ever the Porsche GT3 RS. Uh, the first time I ever drove a GT3 RS was at the Porsche Experience Center. 
and it was the first car I ever drove where you could actually feel the aero. It was simply epic. Over to you, mate. This is a really nicely put together video. Hi, and welcome to the 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Cue the abrasive dubstep. I'm sorry, but we just don't have time for this gimmick. Now, in all my wisdom, I thought I was going to choose the one day of lockdown when the weather was going to be terrible. However, the sun has come out. That also does mean that my hay fever is strong as ever. So, I'll try my best not to ruin any takes with sneezes, eye rubs, or weird noises that I may make. Now, if I was going to do this video properly, this video would be titled something like Living with the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Gone Wild, or something clickbaity like that. But, I'm not going down that route and I don't actually own this car. Something that I think will come as a surprise to about 0% of you. And yes, I know it's kind of cheating in a segment called Peddler's Rides to choose a car that's not actually mine, but I did spec it, and so everything you see before you today is my handiwork. And it's gorgeous. Sat in this seat, you know you're in somewhere very special. Alcantara covers almost every surface you touch. The seat hugs you nicely, secure in your place. And you can just see the front haunches over your steering wheel, letting you know you're in a proper racing machine. So let me quickly run you through the creature comforts of the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Done. Cup holders. No, but in all seriousness, this is a very pleasant space to sit. You've got AC, Porsche infotainment, adaptive suspension, storage compartments down here, and a glove box. No children in the back to annoy you on long journeys. And the quality is second to none. I mean, that centre console is not moving an inch. That's good. A nice place to put you... Your phone, I guess. You could literally only fit a phone in there. The steering wheel is absolutely beautiful. Steering wheels and external wheels make or break a car. On the old 911s, the uh, 996 and the 997, they were um, questionable in their design. But this is gorgeous. So on to the specs. And now I got the specs from a uh, American website that were doing things in inches and pounds and strange things like that. So I decided to translate it from Neanderthal into English for our viewing pleasure. So where does this car lie? Well it costs around £150,000 new and today you could probably pick one up. The cheapest one on Auto Trader is about 120 to 125 which is quite a lot of bang for your buck. Bearing in mind this car has 500 horsepower it does 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds, 193 miles an hour, um, 22 miles to the gallon, if that's important to you. <laughs> it weighs about 1,500 kilos, which is, interestingly, the equivalent of two cows or nine-tenths of a car. What a helpful bit of comparison that is. So, thank you for sticking with me and looking over this wonderful car. A big thank you to all of you for watching. A big thank you to Ped for having this idea in the first place and giving me something to do. Um, big thank you to the other people who have submitted their videos because watching those inspired me to try and give it a go myself. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Yes, a brilliant edit. And I apologize, Alex, I did edit some of your video out because it was just, I've just struggled for length on this one. But the whole thing, you had some outtakes and some other things, very, very well put together. Um, I really like your editing and it really was a very cool video, but what a car. <laughs> uh, the closest I'm gonna get to that is I've got the Lego version of it, but you know, I'd love a GT2 RS. I just think they are brilliant, brilliant cars. Three videos for this episode of Peddler's Rides. Now we are off to Florida, the Sunshine State, to a guy called Julian.
Over to you, mate. Hey, viewers. Guess where I live? Florida. How about that then? And what do I drive? A BMW i8. It's 2016. I bought it in 2018. I've had it for 18 months and I've driven it for about 8,000 miles. What's sexy about the BMW i8? Well, I guess the sexiest thing. Well, it looks sexy, but also, if I stand back now and show you, yep, the doors. Um, so it looks like a supercar. It drives and performs like a supercar. It's carbon fiber. You can see the carbon everywhere if you look through the, you know, it's everywhere. So it doesn't weigh very much. It's four wheel drive, has a petrol engine in the back and electric engine in the front. The engine in the back is, I think the mini engine. So it's probably, I don't know, to 1.5 um, turbocharged, but you can't see it. You have got this trunk or boot as we'd call it, more like a BMW hat. Should always be worn when you're in an American bar. Um, is it a supercar? Mm, oh, no. Do I get treated like a supercar owner? Yes, because people absolutely love the car. Let me shut this door so you can get a better look at the car. Um, Oh look, that's mine. I use this more than the car actually, but anyway, there we are. So, so I don't typically keep cars for more than a year. And I would love a McLaren, but I'm scared of McLarens going wrong. Maybe they don't go wrong, but if it did, God knows, an MP412C. Do you know what? I just, I need to keep this. Look at that, she's on charge. So I can't do the 20 miles it says, but I can probably do 16 miles on a charge. And it's also got a maintenance charger because I don't drive it as much as perhaps it would like me to. Um, I have to leave it on maintenance charge because I just don't want the battery getting flat. But you can see that I clean it a lot because I have issues. Um, and there is a space because I sometimes have a second car. I just had a Mini Cooper S 2004, which I sold, which I had as a daily run around. Um, I was aggressive with the gearbox and broke the linkage. Anyway, there we are. So all you guys out there, I'm in Florida. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day. And I have a BMW i8, which I absolutely love. And, and uh, I love your show. So guys, oh, me, hang on. That's me. Um, now then, I'll tell you a funny story about that video. I downloaded the video and started watching it and clearly it's just voiceover. And I'm watching it thinking, God, that voice sounds really, really familiar. And, and it took me forever and it was actually sent in two bits and it wasn't until the second video where you actually see <laughs> Julian's face. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I met you. You're my next door neighbor's best mate. And I met you at his wedding last summer. And we had a fantastic chat all evening and a good few beers and I just didn't put the name and your face and your voice together until quite some time later. So yeah, I've, I met Julian last year and a brilliant car. Now, let's just have a chat about the uh, BMW i8. For me, um, I think they are the bargain supercar because I don't know what it's like in, in the States, but here in the UK, um, they had a fair whack of depreciation on them, so you can actually pick up an older i8 for pretty good money. Um, and they are just, they have that, like you said, the, the you know the gullwing doors and the kind of um, visual looks that will literally stop a freight train. So I think they are actually quite a good buy from a, you know, if you were looking at a supercar experience but didn't have necessarily mega supercar money, they are a good option. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed those three peddlers rides. Thank you guys all for sending in such brilliant videos. I loved all of your cars, but um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Now, next week, uh, on the Tuesday and Thursday episodes of Peddler's Rides, I am going to be doing minis because I have so much mini content. 
I need to kind of, you know, I just want to try and get some minis out there because I've got some absolutely stunning cars to share with you. So the next two episodes after this will both be minis and I look forward to sharing them with you. Anyway, you take care guys. Stay safe.